Welcome to Kids Church. Okay, before we start our lesson today, go grab your Bible, grab your family. There is a worksheet in the video description that you can print if you have a printer. If you don't, that's okay. Just grab a piece of paper, get some markers or some colored pencils or a pen, and we will get started. Okay, today we are looking at the first sermon that Jesus ever gave that's in the Bible. So I think it's probably pretty important. It's the first thing that he wanted to talk about. This is called the Beatitudes. So what does Beatitude mean? If you guys were on our Zoom call on Friday, when I mentioned the Beatitudes, Camden said, maybe it means bad attitude, which is not what it means. So Beatitude means supreme blessedness. So super duper uber blessed. So what does blessed mean? Sometimes the Greek word that is used in the Bible for blessed is translated as happy. So I think it actually might be something that's a little deeper though than happy, because as you'll see in our reading today, some of the things that Jesus talks about, if I'm honest, would not make me feel happy necessarily. Um, I think maybe a blessing is God's gift of favor in our lives. It's that God wants us to have good things. He also wants to take care of us and he wants to be with us because he loves us so much. So to start out, we're gonna read from our Spark Storybook Bible, the Beatitudes. News that Jesus was coming had spread all over the town. Maybe he will make sick people well, some people thought. Maybe he will make hurt people walk thought others. Everyone wanted to see Jesus. There were so many people. How would they all be able to see him? Jesus knew. He climbed part way up a mountainside and sat down. Now all of the people could see Jesus. Everyone waited. Someone yelled, quiet, I want to listen. Shh, mothers told their children. Then Jesus began to teach the people. Jesus said, people who feel hopeless are blessed because God will give them heaven. Sad people are blessed because God will help them feel better. People who don't have many things are blessed because God will give them everything they need. People who want to follow God's ways are blessed because God will help them. People who treat others with kindness are blessed because God will treat them with kindness. Okay, I want you guys to read this passage in your own Bible and answer a few questions as a family. we might think about having a lot of money, right? We may think about having really cool stuff. We may even think about just having a lot of friends and having a lot of great people in our life. And we might think putting our faith in those things is gonna make us feel happy, right? But then sometimes life doesn't turn out the way that we want or planned or expected, and those things end up leaving us feeling really disappointed. So in our passage today, Jesus tells us there is another way. What I have for you is so much better than what the world has for you. In God's family, our blessing comes just from being his, just from being children of God. We are blessed. We can trust him because we know that he will take care of us, that he loves us, that he wants to give us himself. And so even when things are hard, we know that he's there. I don't know about you guys, but at our house, just thinking about the school year is very stressful and it's really sad and we don't really know what's gonna happen. Will we be in a classroom? Will we be doing school on the computer at home? Will we get to see our friends and hang out with them? We can't fix problems like that all on our own. And we also know that God may not change the situation. It may be hard and it may be sad and it may be uncertain. And that can be really frustrating. But in the end, 
it is okay. And in the end, we know that it can even be good. And that's because we put our hope in God. God gives us just what we need. He loves us, and because he loves us, he wants us to be blessed. All right, I have a quick activity that I want you guys to do as a family. So like I mentioned before, you can print the worksheet that's in the description below the video, or just grab a piece of paper, and you have two options here. You can go through the Beatitudes and put them in your own words, rewrite, rewrite them in language that makes more sense for us today. Or you can go through each one and you could draw a picture or draw a symbol that helps remind you what that Beatitude means. Okay, for our closing prayer today, I want you to help me pray. So I'm going to say during the, the prayer, blessed are. And then I want you to fill in the sentence. You can say whatever you want. It might be blessed are the people who volunteer at the food bank. It might be blessed are the kids in kids church or blessed are the doctors who work at the hospital. Whatever you want to put in the blank, you put it there. That could be a new beatitude for us today. So as a family, while we're praying, I want you all to take turns sharing things to fill in the blank. Okay, let's pray. Jesus, you taught us that those who do your will are blessed and you invite us to see the world your way. Help us to do that now. Blessed are Amen. Okay, friends, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. All right, bye, everybody.